Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today to take a quick look at the tour box. To box in just the word it's awesome and well a few more words easy to use now before i received it i was a bit concerned on the learning curve if it was too aggressive but it's not what i feel today after editing three videos two yesterday one before yesterday and one just after I record this one right over here. So a very limited experience, but I do feel comfortable. To me, it feels like it's an extension of the keyboard and mouse. It's not going to replace any of those, but it's going to give us the freedom to have all the more complicated shortcuts that we use on a daily basis, especially on video editing, photo editing. And it gives us a great freedom with a very easy and quick learning curve now really quickly what i can share with you guys is that with this short experience that i have what i feel is that first of all it has given me a lot of freedom i'm not limited to have a preset for example for final cut pro 10 or premiere and use the way that the software wants no the way that we can use this is that i can start with a with a blank canvas and then i can configure each button for whatever i want but I do believe that there is an easier option, which is there are several uh, presets already pre-made for several software like Final Cut, Premiere, Photoshop, Chrome and so on and so forth. And we can download, import one of these presets and then check out what makes sense for us or what doesn't and then change what we want. And that is the best way, in my opinion, to work because we will feel that there are a lot of shortcuts that are very useful and will make our day very easily. Now, for those of you that don't edit videos or you don't do photo editing, which I believe that's every single one of us do, but uh, if you are not using this kind of software like Photoshop, Affinity and so on and so forth, you're probably doing it in your phone and you will not need this for your phone. But otherwise, we can on not only use it for these kind of apps, but we can use for everything. I was thinking about a browser. I can browse the web with this. So this just means that it gives me a great freedom and I can just put any shortcut. Let's say the Control C, Control V for copy and paste. I can use those shortcuts right over here or here. Actually, I've got it right here. Control C and Control. So, so it's just great. But you can have anything different. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to, to use exactly the same keys that I do on a keyboard. So, of course, this, in my opinion, is targeted at video editors and similar, but with all the freedom that it gives to us, just great. And basically, this is it. My opinion is that this is a great extension, a natural extension of the keyboard and mouse, which will give us a lot of freedom to get our work a lot faster and more productive. So this is it. This is a great option that I was not aware of. And hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there. My name is Weta George. And as always, see you guys on the next one. This is my new video editing assistant because it does a lot for me with these great shortcuts.